five years after the plane coup, Scorpion plane coup. That was today, 11 no, that, that's uh, hey everyone, we are back for another exciting adventure of Legend of the Five Rings 5th Edition. I am joined today by Petra, Jeremy, and Alex. Of course, I am your host, Richard. Now, unfortunately, we do not have a Luke today. Uh, it is a very snowy day here in Toronto. And yes, we are here at the Harry Tarantula to bring you exciting Legend of the Five Rings action. So let's jump right into it. All right, so last we left off, uh, you guys were leaving uh, Suma and you met up Ryu, who of course was the merchant that you uh, left with, or well, actually came to the city with originally, but you also left with him as well. And you guys are now at a fork in a road, quite literally. On the left-hand side, we have uh, the road that will take you to uh, Ryuko Owari, and and the left we have the other road that takes you directly to uh, the capital Otsunuchi. Now, at this point, you guys are still kind of debating about which which direction that you wanted to go. And I said to you uh, last week, where did you want to head off to? Well, there was uh, a, a bit of a decision to be made, right? <clears throat> so the decision is whether we want to take the more treacherous path that uh, leads us through the capital, mm -hmm. or the less treacherous path that gets us there safely, but with no spot to rest and no excitement in the capital. So, personally, I think we have a mission. We should go the most direct route and get straight to where we're going in the least treacherous way possible so that we are in the best form to do our duties as Emerald Magistrate. Sounds acceptable to me. Okay. What are your thoughts? <laughs> but if you've never been to the capital, you should at least go to the capital once. <laughs> Just on some tourist stuff. Uh, uh, you, you, your, uh, your appearance is also time sensitive as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so... The, cl the quicker that you guys get to uh, Ryoko Owari, obviously the uh, it matters more to uh, the people that you'll be reporting to than necessarily you know wasting time going on like a touristy vacation. Again, this is a this is a fairly long trip. Uh, you all have you will have time to uh, rest in like towns and stuff like that, or even just on the side of the road. All right, so. And that, that's both ways. As, as I mentioned earlier, one way takes you up and through a lot more dangerous terrain because you're going towards the capital, uh, and the other one is taking you towards the second largest city. So, I think you. we should go without distractions and go straight there. Okay. What is the, um, what is the path we're taking? Is it over uh, flatland through... Mountains. So I think the less treacherous one is over flatlands. Yeah, it's over flatlands. The other one is through mountains. The quick one, the one we want to take. Yeah, it's flat. The one we want to take is flat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay. All right. Do we all have horses or just you two? I think You're the only one that has a horse. Yeah, I think right. we're just going to walk it. Mm, okay. okay. Right Our, now, we had loaded some of our stuff onto that cart. Yes, so you'll have to take uh, your What's cart. Uh, I had not. Uh, you'll have to take your stuff off of the cart. Uh, he's going the other way. He is going the other way. Yes. Okay. All right. So, you guys start heading towards the left side of the path. Before you, of course, is the beautiful landscape of Rokugan. Uh, there's lots of rice paddies around. A lot of open fields trees you see like small villages in like the distance mountainside etc as you guys are traveling along uh the way you see that there is in fact a small caravan heading towards you That's a good question. How, who, how are we, I guess, uh, Kyo is in front because she's fastest, or how, how are we doing this? I mean, that's perfectly... She might be fastest, but we're all traveling at the same pace. Yeah, I think yeah. We're, in, we're all just on foot together. Yeah, but we, we'd have to be courteous to the other people on the road. We couldn't just 
<laughs> walk side by side, take it all Hang up, hang like hog yeah, up the entire side. Yeah, we only have to move when there's people going by. <clears throat> we don't have to walk in single file when there's no one there. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, this caravan is how far away? Um, a couple yards away. And not again. They're, they're pro well. I guess not a couple yards. They're like between like, say. 100 yards mm -hmm. of the way. Mm -hmm. So you can see them you can see them in the distance. Okay. So sorry, we're far enough that we can't tell if they're like samurai or peasants or anything. Well, usually caravans tend to uh, be mostly merchants or peasants. Mm -hmm. uh, so but we don't see any details. Right? Yeah. There might be some guards. Yeah, and there could be some guards, but from what you can tell at the moment, it's just a it's caravan, just a just a caravan a with a couple of oxen, some sheep, mm -hmm. some it looks like chickens. And uh, a shepherd mm. kind of uh, hurrying them along as this giant uh, wagon is just barreling along with the driver. And uh, it looks like a team of horses. Okay. Well, let's continue on our merry way, I guess, until we're yeah. close enough to greet. All right. So it doesn't, it doesn't take very long to uh, reach them. And that, and the, of course, the, the shepherd uh, stops the cattle and everything and they're just like they all immediately bow uh to where you would be like honored samurai uh how we meet how may we assist you today well what do you have ah oh, we have many fine things some silk some spices some food How are we on supply some food since we, we have uh, left our wagon your friend behind? So, uh, you guys each have four days worth of uh, rations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is an eight day trip, yes. So, if you if you ration out successfully, you can stretch to eight days, but you know, you're all young, so you all gotta eat. So, food sounds nice. Yeah. Food does sound nice. What do you have for what do you have in the way of food? Uh, the shepherd just looks at you and he's like, well, my wife makes this beautiful stew that she can prepare. It's very quick and easy. I just have to kill a chicken. Mm. Mm. Sounds good. You guys go ahead. I'm going to pass on that. Unless you want to give me the, the, just the broth and the veg. No uh, chicken. I'll be fine with that. Ah. The, the shepherd kind of gives you this uh, quick... Uh, like this quick glance and be like you respect the animal life it's more it's more like uh we try to avoid eating as, as much meat as possible on the wall as you probably could not guess i am a crab <laughs> <laughs> you bring honor to your family then mm. so uh you they pull off to the side of the road and uh the family and a couple people start pulling everything apart and setting up like a camp. Uh, eventually, you guys, they have set it up and they've actually laid, grabbed a bunch of logs, fair sized ones, and placed it down on the ground so that you may have seats mm. rather than sitting on the filthy ground. You can sit on filthy logs instead. <laughs> Indeed. So, uh, where would. Uh, where would you like to continue this? No, I'll sit on the log. Okay. I'll try some yeah. stew. Some we'll we'll Sounds nice. Food, well. <clears throat> I think it'd be rude not to at this point. Ah. So, the as you guys are uh, sitting down, the shepherd comes over and he's like, I am... Apologies. Apologies. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Asaka Kiba. Very toothy of you. What does toothy mean? Exactly. I'm he the man. <laughs> if that's what you say. Ha 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 ha. We all do. Well, I mean, if you if you want to get all of their names, that's no adult names. Oh yes, you do have you do have adult names. Were we given them? No, you you choose them. Yes. 
Chiho is your name. Is my adult name? Is your adult name, okay. yes. Yeah. So the shepherd's like, so where are you going? Well, that's classified information. I can tell you, but then I have to kill you. <laughs> kind of steps away just a little bit and looks at uh, the rest of you. It's like, what? Man jokes. We, <laughs> we aren't going to kill you because we aren't going to tell you. But we're, uh, we're on special samurai duties on our way. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Well, then, perhaps uh, you will care to share some stories then. We, we love to hear the samurai stories, especially from different clans such as yourselves. You want to hear about the wall? Yes, I would be honored to hear about the wall. It's really big. <laughs> I see. Kiba just kind of looks at you and like starts stepping away. Mm -hmm. And and you, what great stories does comes from the unicorn? Oh well, the unicorn are an interesting people. Our great stories are those of honorable battle maidens and beautiful culture and many things. <laughs> horses. Many horses. Big horses. Those were our pride. Ah. And uh, how do you feel about the crab? About this crab or the crab in general? The crab in general. I'm, I'm open to, to all clans for the most part. Hmm. Okay. So what do you think about the crab, the crab, Kiba? Oh, I have no opinion of the crab. Have they you, serve their duty well. Have you? Are you a stranger to our lands? Uh, no, I have been to the crab lands before. And what did you think of them? Very pleasant and dank. Impressive, were they not? Yes. Good. I'm glad that we agree on something. Hmm. Wall's a terrible thing. Someday maybe we won't need it. Ah, but the Shadowlands are a dark place with full of evil. How how would you tend to pacify it? With brute force and courage. Like my forebears before me. We will fight them and we will push them back. Mm. <clears throat> we will reclaim our country. And we will take that wall and we will break it down and we will build cities out of it. I see. So as, you, as you're talking to uh, Kiba, you hear the sound of a chicken being slaughtered in the background. Just a quick... And a gobble, gobble, gobble. Going... Uh, <laughs> I raise my eyebrow. All right. Uh, as again, as you as you're all talking in that, um, some children start begin playing uh, nearby. Uh, they're of course going near your horse and that and trying to uh, pet uh, it, but your horse isn't really taking kind to it at all. Haru will only respond to. Someone of, of my standing, children. I'm sorry. It's not that he doesn't like you, but I would be careful around him. He's got a mighty kick. The children laugh and giggle at you and uh, run around in a circle around uh, <laughs> your horse. Again, your horse is still rather, uh, like, taken aback from being, like, you know, having these children <laughs> run around it. A uh, young lady approaches you and smiles. It's like, what happened to your arm? I lost it playing somewhere I shouldn't. Mm. Was it honorable? Yes. Ah. So tell me, what, what, of, what of the monk over there? He seems like it. 
He seems to be in deep in meditation. Yes. Monks must sweep. That's one of the few things they're good for. And what about the other dragon there? The one that seems to be have his head buried inside of a book. Don't bother about him. He's pining for his lost love. <laughs> ah. Really? Yeah. What was his name again? Hitoshi? That's the one. Oh. Mm. And what of the other one? That's all of us. Who do you mean? Just the five of us. You talk about Haru? Where are you talking about the horse? No. The one that has the knife inside the dragon's neck. Do we see this person? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh Who so are you? <laughs> uh you see uh Kinto like just tilt forward and begin bleeding out. Let us prepare for combat. All right. So you guys will be rolling plus your. Uh, let me quick, take a quick look. Roll at, your fitness. Yes, roll your fitness. Or sorry, roll your tactics because it's just fitness. Oh, right, yes. right, 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 right. Plus whatever ring you wish to use. However. Whatever ring you use is the ring you're automatically in in your first turn. All right, who wants to go first? <clears throat> I'll go first. All right, do it. Okay, um, so I'm going to roll in my air stance. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to think. Oh, sorry, tactics. And, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, two strike. Uh, an opportunity, a success, and an explosive success, which I want to re-roll. And got another explosive success, and another strength, so that's three strength. Three success, and a fourth success, and three strength. And I'm going to use my opportunity to get rid of one of those strikes. So now, I'm two strength. Okay. And then, so how many successes? Four. Four successes. Your vigilance. Yep. What's my vigilance? Vigilance is oh three. My vigilance is three. Ooh. So, so seven. Seven. All right. That's amazing. Yeah. What a roll. So I feel like I'm sorry. I'm seven. My game. All right. And uh, Hida, man. <laughs> uh, not as impressive as Chio. I only got two successes, <clears throat> one opportunity, and. Two strikes, so I'm going to use one of those opportunities to wipe out a strike. All right. And my vigilance is two, so a total is four. Four? Okay. Uh, and I know I'm going to butcher your character's name. Ishawa? Isawa? Isasha. Is Isasha. Thank you. Isashi. Isashi. Uh, my initiative is three. So I've got one success and my vigilance is two. All right. So that means that my character will be... Oops. Uh... <laughs> and that is a three. One, two, three. So keeping three. And so uh, keep those. Roll that. Explode. And that. So two, three strife. An opportunity and that so that is a six for me as well okay all right so chio you are first uh, you are currently in the air stance correct all right so what will you be doing how close am i to the guy um you're not you're not very far you're about uh range one so you're like you're pretty close you could hit him with a sword, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw my sword. Okay. Uh so now uh where is my Two. 
stances. So you are an earth, no, air stance, air. right? Yeah. All right. What does that do? Um, okay. Just increase the perk number of the person. Yep. I just needed to make sure. And it's, they increase their target number. Hmm? It's a defense stance. Yeah. So attacks on Geo are one higher target number. All right. So would you like to attack? I would like to attack. All right. So what range is this program at? Uh, they're at range one. They're in definitely sword range. Yep. <laughs> To, um, martial arts melee. Do you have your sword drawn? I just drew my sword. Um, it's up to you That's if I now have it. That's, That's your action. action. Yep. Right. Yeah. Cool. Sword drawn. All right. So next person is me. I too will now draw two swords. Why not me? Uh, next is Vita. All right. So so our opponent has two swords. What do they look like? They're katanas. Oh, not the swords, the person. <laughs> oh, the person? Yeah. Uh, they're dressed in like some raggedy clothes and stuff like that. It looks like they're ronin. Mm. Yeah. So a samurai. Mm, theoretically, yes. Old or young? Um, middle age, around definitely in like, uh, their well, I wouldn't say mid. Late twenties. All right. Well, I will draw my hammer. Middle age. <laughs> <laughs> That can count as middle age. Or no, it's not. No. I mean, you were lucky kind of if you live past 30. <laughs> I will draw my hammer. You will draw your hammer. And I will shout out loud. I will say, murderer. How dare you? I can. Although, that is assuming that he's been murdered. And that's a little dark. Didn't we just see, like, his blood come out of him? Yeah, but he could be dying. <laughs> oh, no. He could be no, attempted no, no. murderer. Kitano is definitely <laughs> attempted murder, dead. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, Doesn't have the same bear yeah. test. <laughs> what is attempted murder? Do they give Nobel prizes to attempted physics? I don't know. So I'm 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 uh, I'm I'm pointing the long hammer of the law at this person. I'm saying, surrender immediately. That's my action. Well, actually, uh, that's more than just five. Okay. You get five words. Oh, five words. Yes, you have and five words. Murder, surrender immediately? No. Uh, well, you didn't say murder, surrender immediately. You said, like, murder, how dare you? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Yeah. Right. Murder, how dare you? Hey. So you get a six word if it's some, like, fool or some other derogative term. Uh, okay. All right, so you've uh, you've drawn your hammer and insulted them or questioned them. Uh, next is uh, it's Asashi. It's Asashi. Asashi. Uh, they're at one, yeah? Yes, they are at one. So I'll take a step back. Okay. Uh, so I'll take them to two. Mm -hmm. And then I will attempt a um, channel. Channel, okay. Yeah, channel and attempt with the bear. It's the only thing I can really do on this turn. Two supernatural damage. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. And they must make a um, fitness test. A fitness test? All right. What stance are they in? Uh, they're in Earth. Then it's difficulty five. Nice. Uh, well, I can keep two, so I'm going to keep uh, these two, and I have two successes and two strife. Okay, so they fail. Yeah. So what does that do? They're not prone. <laughs> not prone, okay. And they're disoriented unless they summon, unless they spend uh, a turn not moving. 
Hmm. I don't think that's really an option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, it's I believe it's over here, uh, or. <laughs> so, uh, that brings us back to the top here, which is uh, Chio. Yes. So, uh, you've seen. Is this what kind of a, what kind of spell is this? Is an it? Spell. It's an air spell. Gusts of wind envelop them and surround them and push them to the ground. Okay, so you see, you see this like just this wind just go drops them to the ground. Uh, with that, they're actually their uh, mask is uh, blown off. Uh, you see that they are their face is horribly scarred and burned. Mm. Yes. Uh, so, what would you like to do? I'd like to attack him with my sword. Would you like to change your stance? Mm, no. No? Okay. Stay in air. Alright. Uh, move air? Yep. Um, K2 success. Um, explosive success and two strike. That explodes, I get another strike and another success. So four success and three strike. Wow. Nice. And you are hitting me with a katana? Yeah. yeah. And I believe the katana is five damage? Four damage. Four damage. It is four. Okay. So... Uh, so I will, hmm. So increase the target number of their movement and support action checks by two. Okay. And, um, it's removed if they did not perform movement or support action. Hmm. Hmm. Well then, I think the best thing for me to do is to not move, get back up, <laughs> and come at you. <laughs> oh. uh, so that'll be my action, will be to uh, basically get unproned. Yeah. Alright, so next person is... Uh, man. Man. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to stay in my earth stance. Okay. Use my new kata, which I'm very excited about. Woo! It's called the Rushing Avalanche Style. Right, what does your new kata do? Uh, well, let's roll and find out. Basically, okay. it says when I take a martial arts melee check using a blunt weapon, okay. I may spend opportunity in the following ways. Mm -hmm. First, let's see how I do. <laughs> Alright, so my melee attack, I've got one success. <clears throat> Excuse me. One success and two opportunities. So you miss. That's you, true. Yes, you miss. So with one opportunity, if I fail with a shortfall of two or less, the target suffers physical damage equal to my ranks in fitness. And you kind of bowl into them? Basically, yes. Mm, okay. And so what is your ranks in fitness? He wasn't prone right now, was he? Uh, no, I think you're not prone at uh, your next action, not the... He stood he up. He did yeah. stand up, right? Okay. So I wasn't fast enough. So the second part is I could also do even more damage if he was just lying down. Oh. oh. All right. So. Kind of glad I'm not lying down. As people usually are. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> yeah I was gonna say. I'm going to fail <laughs> and still hit you and hurt you. <laughs> well, and how much how much damage am I taking from the kata? Or uh, from you? So uh, I failed. But yes. if I fail, I'm, I, my target suffers physical damage equal to the ranks, my ranks in fitness, which is two. Okay. I took two physical damage to him, even though I failed. Oh, he's still around. Uh, next is Asashi. Um, so you try to run at me? Yeah. So I'm going to switch to your fire stance. Okay. And I will try a support action um, to summon forth a blade of flame. All right, blade of flame. Yeah. 
Three successes. So, I summon forth a katana of fire. I'm like, whoa! Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. All right then. I need a black dice, please. Just one. Yep, just one. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so then that brings us back to, uh, the top the of, <laughs> pardon? So when you're in fire stance, if yes. you succeed, you get plus one bonus per strike symbol. Nice. Yeah. Fire is a good thing. <coughs> Bless you. Sometimes, you. yes. Uh, so that brings us back to, uh, the top of the order. Chio. Still up? He's still going? He's still going. Still going. I'm gonna hit him with my sword again. <laughs> I need another black one. In my hand. Okay. Success, success, explosive success, opportunity, strike, strike, strike. Free strike. You love those explosive successes. Yeah. And another opportunity. So. I will remove two of my strikes, so I'll only get one, and I have three successes. All right. Cool. So three successes? Yeah. All right, so how much damage? Four? Four. All right. I take it they're in, like, traveling clothes or something? Yeah. So they still have physical resistance? Yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm applying that. <laughs> it's not much, but you know, one is better than none. <laughs> uh, traveling close too. Are traveling close too? Yeah. Oh. Well then, that is less than that. Awesome. So, uh, they're going to change to uh, fire stance and attack you. So I can keep two, I'll keep two successes, roll my thing, that's an explosion, that is another, so uh, three successes and two strife. So they are doing, so they're doing four points of damage, uh, less your resistance. Okay, so I take four points back. Oh yes, Shugenja. <laughs> I have supernatural armor, I do not have... Yes. Uh, I will also spend my two strife and raise my target number up by one. Okay. You don't want your bonus successes on this? Hmm? No, I, I want to live longer. <laughs> uh, so next is man. Okay. So I've got a question for you. Yes. Uh, since I'm swinging a big war hammer, mm -hmm. counted as cumbersome. Yes. Would that mean that my large stature would allow me to reroll some of my dice? I mean, theoretically, yes. Cool. All right, so here I go. So he's, he's fixated on his sashi. I'm going to walk oh, up behind him and let me just, as hard as I can. While wearing cumbersome armor, increase the target number of your damages. Three full leg successes. Okay. All right, so... Do I get to reroll some dice or no? You get three exploding successes? Uh, four now. Okay. Well, how many are you, are you? Five. Okay. I don't think you need to reroll. Six. <laughs> All right. Six, six exploding successes. Six exploding successes. How much strife? Uh, only the one strife, but the one opportunity. Okay. And if I get to reroll, I get to keep going. Because I got another exploding one over here. So, if you choose to reroll. Mm -hmm. And you've exploded a whole ton of times. Mm -hmm. yeah, you re-roll the whole lot. Oh no! This is a, the two blanks that yeah, were sitting yeah. on the side. You can yeah. Those. yeah, those are the, the the one that exploded a bunch of times. I didn't re-roll. So <clears throat> that's another exploding success. An opportunity. Okay, so I'm up to seven successes. You also make your re-roll before you re-roll for exploding. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I'll remember that for next time. <coughs> so seven successes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> how much damage does a hammer do? Eight. Eight? Eight? It's a two-handed grip hammer. <laughs> With reduction... So, you take your hammer and just, like, kind of crank it around, and as your body is swinging, it makes contact uh, with that. You feel the wind of the hammer just blow past your hair as his head is knocked clean off <laughs> into uh, a field. <laughs> and then his, I invented golf. His <laughs> body slumps over. And as you are celebrating in your victory, you take a look at Isashi, who has a katana sticking out of uh, his ribcage. Well, a crowd doesn't celebrate. I'm, I'm very upset about all this. His head got in the way of my hammer. I'm horrified. Well, mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Sasha, you have a katana that is, uh, like in my back. Yeah. Pretty bad. You turn around and you see two more, uh, Ronin standing there. One of them does not, no longer has a weapon. The other one has a, uh, war club. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, you are bleeding. Why is there a snowstorm? Could definitely use our sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the snowstorm is bad. Uh, so That's again, uh, so it is Asashi's uh, Asashi's turn. Mm -hmm. Can you heal yourself? Mm -hmm. I hope. Otherwise, I should have put some of my my skills in medicine. <laughs> yes, I believe there is only one healer amongst you, and they are not here this evening. <laughs> Hence my snowstorm coming. I thought you were a healer. I'm a healer. He's not the healer. I thought, uh, I... He can remove conditions from... Ah, uh, that's it. Heal. Gotcha. Can you remove the condition of stabbed? Bleeding? Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. I can. Oh, okay. So, uh... Do you know what bleeding does? Uh, I'm trying to find out. All right, what effects. When keeping strife results on dice, the character suffers the same amount of physical damage, ignoring their resistance. Okay. Such damage inflicts a critical strike with severity equal to the character's current fatigue. Okay. Uh, it is removed when uh, at range 0 to 1, on the bleeding character, you must make a target number two medicine check um, as a support a action. All right. So I will step back mm -hmm. so they're not uh, like right in my face. Okay. Or right in my back. <laughs> <laughs> um, katana still in hand, so it's fine. I will uh, entreat the water spirits. Well, what? Two water stamps. All right. Uh, and entreat the water spirits to aid me. Okay. Um, so I make a ability check. I'm wearing the target number of I one. Uh, so I get two successes. Um, I'll take the one with the hammer. You'll take the one with the hammer? Mm. Okay, have a hammer. Um, so, well, war club. Two yep. successes, two strife. Uh, I heal myself by... Uh, Fatigue equal to my water ring plus one of successes, so three. And I remove... One of the following conditions. I will remove bleeding. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Now, did you, uh, you getting the two strife from, uh, the wool? Yeah. All right, so you were still bleeding before it was removed? Yeah. All right, so you'll take the two damage, uh, yeah. from that. I take two damage, I do not <coughs> for because that's the first damage I take. All right, uh, that brings... I will then take my second action, because I am in water stance. Ooh. Oh, fancy. Yes. I will strike. Okay. Uh, who, which one is your target? Um, the guy who stabbed me. Okay. That one is unarmed? That is the one who is unarmed, yes. I will spend a void point. Okay. Uh, I will use striking with water. Successes. Uh, Alright, you hit. One opportunity, which I'll use to lower his physical defense by one. Okay. For my kata. Yep. And um, two strike. So and hit. how much damage? He takes four supernatural damage. Ooh, okay. Alright. Uh, Actually, that opportunity, instead of doing that, I might set him on fire. Hmm. And yes, I shall set him on fire. I must make a TN3 fitness check. TN3 fitness check? Yeah. Alright. Unless he's in air or water stance. Uh, he is in neither of those stances at the moment. Three. Three. Okay. So he's not burning. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mission successful. <laughs> not to burn alive. <laughs> Next time. Next time. <clears throat> it's just kind of like, <sighs> seemed better. <laughs> uh, so that, again. Then a supernatural katana coming into the space. <laughs> yeah. So that is, uh, we are on Chio's uh, turn. All are right. These, are these Ronin also masked? No, they are not. Yeah. Are they also horribly scarred and burned like the first guy? No, nah, they cool looking. Huh. They got a little bit more style. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. Next, uh, next turn. Next turn. All right. I'm going to try and hit the guy with the big club. All right. With my sword. In my air stance still. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, three strife, one opportunity, uh, two explosive success, one regular success. Okay, so that's three success, three strife, which I'm removing one sure. opportunity. Oh, and then I hit eight. I, I hit my composure. Do I have to unmask? You do have to unmask. All right. Um. Rawr! <laughs> you <laughs> killed my friend! I'm so upset. And I go at him with my sword. Literally turn to a spirit and go, <laughs> It's been a rough time, okay? I'm confused, but I know I'm upset. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then. <laughs> impressive outburst. That is an impressive outburst. The, t the two Ronin kind of look at each other and, <laughs> and uh, laugh. Wow. Wow. I I'm even more upset. You're even more upset? <laughs> now I'm hurt. Before I was just mad. Now and I'm also hurt. And they probably proceed to try to stab the uh, dude with the flaming katana? Uh, that is indeed. In Are they wearing armor? Pardon? No, they're wearing travel as clothes. So, so I'm guessing I didn't hit them. How many successes did you get? Three. Yeah, you hit them. Yeah. 
Uh, what was your, your four damage? Because I only did four. Yeah. So that's two damage. And then damage. because I unmasked, I go back down to zero, right? Yep. All right, so uh, my first NPC, or, well, third NPC, the one with the club, is going to attack you. Yeah, well, I'm an air stance, so. Yes, and they are, go- they are going to be in fire stance. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, so when, you, when your uh, strike hits your poacher, mm-hmm. you are compromised. Ah. You do not immediately become, you do not immediately unmask. Okay. So uh, once per scene, you may unmask. So once per scene, you get to drop your um, strife. Yeah, strife is reduced to a value lower than or equal to your composure. Um, By unmasking? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then there's no point in doing it if I'm at my composure. No. I'm just compromised. Um, so never mind, I take back my unmasking. Oh. I didn't unmask. I was quiet and calm while I hit him with my sword. So, All right. Well, you're st- you're still you're still gonna get hit in the face However, with a club. Wow. <laughs> while you're compromised, your vigilance drops to one, one. Mm. and you cannot keep dice that contain a strike symbol. Mm. All right. So making my uh, martial arts uh, melee. Uh, I keep two, so I'll keep the two hits. And you are an air, sorry, you are an air, correct? You are an air? All right, so I believe I miss you. Yes. Uh, next one is coming charging at you. Well, the one with the club decided to go after uh, the outrage. That's what I'm talking about, wasn't outrage. Now I'm fine. Well, you can unmask. All right. Uh, your target number is two, correct? Mm-hmm. Target number two. Yep. Uh, I think I think it's I think it's safe to say you did the right thing. You know, masking dropped your strike to zero. Okay, so I did. Okay. Well, then I did. All right. Yeah, so to do it once a scene. I will spend. I have three opportunity. Hold. Oh. And one success. So, I am in fire. Uh, let's see. And another character in the scene with your presence, they will receive two strife. Notice something missing or out of place, but not directly a task. Perform a task in a flashy way, drawing attention to yourself. Wait, that's opportunity. Yes, uh, okay. Um, let's see. I believe I will notice if there's anything in particular that I can exploit. Hmm. <laughs> See, they're already attacking the unarmored, one-armed man. Uh, Where's the flame contempt? But you didn't have the flame contempt when they made the decision. And the battle maiden is is on the ground, not not mounted on her horse. And the man is, uh, he's going to just be like, hammer time. <laughs> it is hammer time. It is hammer time. It is hammer time. It's not demand. I'm only demand, my friend. All right, so I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna switch stances. Okay. I'm gonna shift into my water stance. I'm gonna use the extra action to move around to a flanking position on the hammer guy. Then I'm gonna strike. Make a fitness check. And water. Oh, fitness check. Sure. Yeah. Make a fitness check first. You get a, m- a free move of one. Mm-hmm. Anything more is a fitness check. Okay. So it's it's more than one to get around him. Yep. Okay. So there's my fitness check. And I'm very opportune. Uh, the roll is a success and two opportunity. So you get a move of two now. Cool. So, so for each additional point is additional successes. All right. So am I in a flank now? Yes, you are in flank. Right, I would like to strike as water. Okay. All right. Oops. No, that was like that, right? Alright, there's my exploding success. So I'm gonna roll that one again. So I got one success, two, three successes, and that's what I'm keeping. Three successes. Alright. So and I've lowered his physical resistance by one. And dealing eight damage. Oh wait, 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 sorry. I, if I had any opportunity, but I have none. I have okay. no opportunity. 
So, so regular damage? Regular old physical damage. And physical. how much is that? Eight. And roll hammer. Yep, you shatter uh, him in two. <laughs> uh, as you hear the bones crunch, mm -hmm. uh, you hear commotion coming from the caravan as six more jump out of the back of the wagon and lunge at the Shigenja. They really don't like me. No, they really don't. Eh? Flaming sword. Not great at all. Why would they be? Sword that's on fire? Well, I'm afraid. I mean, I'm on the side of the flaming sword. <laughs> hmm. That's fair. Alright, so, um, that is theirs. I'm just gonna quickly roll theirs. Okay, cool. So I gotta insert them. So they got uh, different initiatives. They do have initiatives. They're in at four. Okay. So they're on the same uh, level as you. How, how does the tie work in? in uh, it goes to the player. Oh, cool, cool. Oops. So we have six more? You have six more. Excellent. Josh, you show them what's what. Okay, that's five words. What's the rank? Uh, zero to one. They are right behind you. Okay. So your back is now to the other NPC that's still alive, the unarmed one. Or was that the one that you hit? No, I hit I hit Hammer Guy. Hammer Guy? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay. I decided to come to the Achio rather than stand anywhere near the firing, bleeding guy. <laughs> That's fair. I'm going to call the air spirits again. Okay. And get them to save my ass. <laughs> the polite term. <laughs> to use the polite term, please save my ass, great spirits. Awesome. All of them. Cool. Um, I get the opportunity, um, and then they all make their TMs for fitness checks, unless they're in Earth, and then at five if they're in fire. Uh, two are in Earth, the other are in fire. Yeah. So, what's the fire one? Five? Uh, fire one's two, sorry. Earth one and five. All right. So, there's two. I'll keep those. Mm -hmm. That is resisted. Or what am I resisting? Uh, the throwing things at the okay, so there is one explosive, two explosive, two opportunity. I'm gonna keep both explosive dice. And that is a success and a success. Uh, so that is four success. Yeah. Four successes? Yeah, four successes. Alright. Uh and the next is another fire. They make that. And gain two strife. Uh, next one. Three explosive successes. And keeping both and one strife. That is another explosive success. And another success. <coughs> the fire one makes that. <laughs> and then the earth one. Which I need five for, right? Okay. Uh, explosive success in that. Another success. I'll keep the explosive and the strife and the regular. Reroll the explosive. Explosive again and another strife. Explosive again and another strife. Yeah, eight more. Another one there. And last one. Remember, they are keeping all that strife up. Yeah, I know. Two successes, and he was in fire. He's fine. All right, so now I have to mark down all that strength. <laughs> the Earth one that failed. Pardon? The Earth one that's failed. Yes. Is also pushed away. So he's pushed one range band away. So he's pushed to three. Yeah. For me, okay. All right. 
Uh, everybody else succeeded. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Uh, nope. Good old supernatural damage. <laughs> Only there was somebody else here to capitalize on all the supernatural damage. Hmm. You should have been a true gender there. I know. Except for I'm too busy killing people. Well, supernatural damage is still fatigue damage. Mm. Yeah. So it's still the same health pool. Yeah. All right. So um, that brings us to the unarmed NPC. Right. He is going to charge at you to withdraw his katana from your chest. Okay. Is he switching to water then? Yes, he is switching to water. Uh, so he's making a charge, uh, which I believe is fitness. Yeah. So he's going to move up one and charge. Uh, need two, so I'm keeping the two explosive. And an opportunity and two strife. So two successes. Which gets him another range. Yeah, so he is in range of you now. Uh, and then it is. And then he does his second action. Yeah. Which is to grab his katana and have it wiped out. Yes. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Grabs it and prepares it. Okay. <laughs> prepares to get a faithful fire. Whose turn is it? Uh, it is now. Chaos turn. Are you guys on there? There is one engaged with uh, Isashi. Isashi, and well, Brothers? pardon. There's like five still. Yeah, there's there's six that came out of the caravan, so there's seven in total. Yes. So you guys are kind of now in the middle, and I'll surrounded. Um. I'll take more. <laughs> yeah, I'll just target one of them. Yep, their target numbers are all two. Going, well, I'm going in that air still. still. Mm -hmm. um, okay, two success, <coughs> an explosive success, and two strength. Cool. Oh, no, wait, that's a success and opportunity? Is that a thing? Yes. Yeah, on okay, the white dice. Mind. Just yeah. one, just one strength then, which I'll take away with that opportunity. But, okay, and then another six, explosive success and a strength. And another opportunity that I'll used to get rid of that strike too so that was one two three four success four successes yes. uh so you hit <laughs> quite well uh that's four damage all right and that's on e1 excellent E1, what kind is that? I don't remember. No, that's Earth 1. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, that comes to you. Are, are there any bad guys within range of me? Right now? Uh, no, you'll need to move. Okay, so I will do the same thing I did last time. Because you, you flanked, correct? The, lot, the yeah, previous time. Yeah. yeah, so yes, they're further away from you. I'll, so I'll stay in water stance then and do my run up to the nearest guy. Okay. So that's finish check, yeah? Yep. All right. Uh, is this somebody separate from who Chio's fighting, or is this the uh, same guy? Who's I closest? mean, if you want it to be the same person that Chio is fighting, then sure, but She's got there's it. plenty to five go around. Other, there's five others. Plenty to go around. I'll go to the one nearest that's not engaged with one of my friends, and I'm going to okay. run up to him. All right. Um, there's no explosions on this, but there are two successes. Okay. And so you get make it into extra the extra... Opinion. So you make it oh, into range? Yeah, watch it out. Yes, I'm making the range. Okay, so yep. strike as water. Okay. Want, want, want. I only got one success. Miss. That's true. Now. Striking as water doesn't allow you to spend. When you make a check, you may spend the opportunity in the following way. So I choose to do it. You fail the check. You, you did fail the check. Oh, when yeah. I, oh, I make me succeed? Yes. Oh, make okay, me succeed, well, yes. Striking as water, you lower his physical defense against mm. that attack. Mm. You miss. It doesn't matter. The effect persists until the end of your next turn. Oh, okay. 
So mm. I'd like to do this unless sure. I have to successfully no, no. hit. All I'll right. So I'm going to... Even I misread that, so... I'm going to spend two opportunity mm -hmm. to lower their resistance by two. And then... So that drops their resistance to zero. Right, and then I have... Um, and that's until you, the... Until the end of my next turn. turn. Okay. And then I have a strife and an opportunity left over. Mm -hmm. Actually, sorry. Yeah, because I, I can only keep three dice. So I just, those wash out. Okay. Yeah. Well, then... How much damage are you dealing with? Uh, eight. Eight. But, I only but you success. miss. Okay, yeah, so you did success. miss. Yeah. But their re their damage is reduced. All right, so well, their physical resistance yes. is reduced by. by uh, so we're gonna go you you then the other uh, four. Okay. All right. So they're uh, they're going to switch to air stance. Oh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that misses. <laughs> uh, now you. He is going to switch to Earth Stance. Very good. And that is two successes. All right. I believe that hits you. Yeah, I'm. I'm not wearing any armor. We're all running around in our nice baby robes, right? Baby robes. Yes. Did we not put on armor? Well, some might have. You oh, he what, didn't. Down yes. Mm. Uh, so uh, that's four damage to you. Okay. But you're, but you're in. But you're in traveling robes, so that's actually two damage. Oh. All right. Now the other ones. So two of them are going to split off and go after you. The other sure. two are going to go after you. So we'll do uh, Isashi first, then you. Sure. Uh, one, two, two success, no, wait, one explosive success, one regular success, mm -hmm. two strife, uh, and so roll the, that, an opportunity, so I will, They have one opportunity. I mean, when, yeah, I'm going to remove the strife. And uh, your TN was two, correct? Your target number for you? Okay. So you were hit. And, oh, well, on the first one you're hit. Uh, no, my TN was three, because the last one I did was an uh, air attack on one. Okay. So All right, so then I missed on that one. Next one is one, two, three, four. four successes, one explosive. Roll the explosive opportunity. So keeping that, and I'll just cancel the strife with the opportunity I have, and deal you, and uh, I hit you with your. With three successes. So they're hitting me with a katana? Yep. So four or more damage. Okay. Yep. Four damage. All right. Your turn. All right. Unarmed guy? Pardon? Unarmed guy? Unarmed guy goes. Because he grabbed the sword in me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so he's re armed. Yeah. Yeah. He killed like before everyone. Yeah. Uh, so then the two that are on you. Mm -hmm. First one misses, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to uh, spend a void point mm -hmm. on uh, the next one. And the three opportunities that I made from this roll is I'm going to provide assistance for the character with the same check. Okay. So there is my assistance, which is three successes there. Mm -hmm. And now this... Which is one success, one explosive success, two strife, and opportunity, and another strife. Uh, use the opportunity uh, for that, and I forgot to add the thing. So that's one, two, three. That's five successes mm -hmm. against you. Sure. So four damage, okay. and then your resistance is two. Okay. 
missed my armor. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they don't be using katanas against us, probably. Indeed. And they're just making little slices. like, take two, take two, <laughs> take two. <laughs> yeah, So, uh, that brings us to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, this sort of... <laughs> and they are running. Okay, well, yeah. And that. And you first in a piece, so I can get it on you. So I can <coughs> myself. So I've already used it once on myself. So I'll switch to ward stance. Okay. I will attempt to get the spirits to heal Mr. Man. Woo! Okay. So you get healed for two. Nice. Thank you. Um, Refreshing. And I'll do a strike on this thing. The guy who just pulled his sword out my chest. Finish that guy off. The guy that's not wounded? Okay. <laughs> He's already dead. Start him off. <laughs> he's, he's already dead in my mind. He started this fight by sticking a sword in, in Sawa. I figured for sure he'd be dead by now. Hmm. Uh, no, I miss. Oh, you miss? Okay. Yeah. I'll send nothing to you. That's also strike. And then I think he goes. Yep. Mr. I want to kill you. <laughs> he has a goal in mind. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. No, no, it's not. not <laughs> I don't like goals. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you are in uh, air stance. Your target number is three. Oh, oh you're in water stance? Water stance. Oh, okay. So your target number is two then, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... Two strikes and opportunity, so I'm gonna crit that. Ow. Ow. Uh, so this is my first crit. I feel I feel ever. like ever, <gasps> yes. Hit. Yes. And I hit. So the severity of it is So I take four. For yep. And then severity. Is on page two seventy. It's a katana. Yeah. Using one hand, two handed. Uh, all one handed. Okay, two handed severity would be seven. That's sad. <laughs> one handed though, its severity is. Five. Pardon? Five. Five. All right. So I take a spirit sword crit. I will make my fitness check. Yep. Um, two seventy. Hmm. Severity by one. Yeah. So to four, which is a yeah. flesh wound. Yeah. Uh, the hit sinks into the character's flesh, slicing shallowly and creating a vicious contusion. As the katana, I also suffer bleeding. Yep. This razor ache. Yep. And then I fall over. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. for you. Can't even use shotgun parry. 
Most unfortunate. My katana is made of fire. Again, most unfortunate. <laughs> uh, so that leads us to uh, man. Doesn't Chio go ahead? Oh yes, yeah, sorry, Chio. Yeah. And uh, you're bleeding. Oh yeah. Cool. Just to point out, uh, damage, bright, mm -hmm. includes bonus successes. I didn't have any bonus successes. <laughs> the damage goes up based on bonus successes. Nice. Mm. It's your base damage plus your bonus. <coughs> All right. All right. So you, before we get into your action, you see uh, the Ronin just slash at <laughs> your friend and they drop to the ground. They're bleeding. They're bleeding. I don't know what to do. I There's one of their readied weapons. Hmm? This is one of their readied yeah, weapons, though. Yeah, for but uh, counter fire. All the special rules of your spell is a um, not a fit fully physical item. Um, it is literally made of fire. Have we taken any of these guys out yet? I killed two. Killed two. Yeah. So there's five left. Yep. Yeah. And then the katana goes out. Too. Um, the great part is, is they're going to disengage There's and two, run away. Two, two, two the eight. There's still six. Third one is fighting off. Yeah. We, I have three on me, and you have two on me. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to break it one of them with my katana, just like I always do. Awesome. Just my normal stuff. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. There we okay. go. One, two, three. Two strike. Uh, another close, another strike. Three strike. Four success. Five, Five success. Five successes. Three strike. Hmm. Well, you hit. <laughs> uh, so this is one of the two that you have on you? All right. So uh, you deal four points of damage. Uh, you kill one. Yeah! One drops down to the ground. Uh, the next one, however, though, has... Well, he's gotten very angry. <laughs> I was going to say they're going to stab me at once. Hmm? Well, that was before one got killed. <laughs> now they have a reason to fight. Right, did my soft-heartedness have affected me there? Um. Was I trying to kill him? I don't even know. I'm just I think I think your soft-heartedness is concerned right now with the fact that you've just seen your yeah. two of your comrades die. Yeah. Are you dead yet? Oh my god, this is really stressful. You weren't given the choice to show mercy. That's true. Hmm. That's true. All right. Well, All right, so then... I killed that guy, and I'm sad about it, and I'm sad about my friend, and I'm, I'm distressed. I am distressed. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to go into the uh, next part of the combat, which is basically it's going to be five against one. All right. <laughs> against which one? That's the surprise. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do we want to take a break before we go to the next yep. combat scene? All right. Uh, so, we will be back here at the Harry Tarantula. You can find us online at harryt.com. Uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. So uh, We're just going to, you know, grab some drinks, clear our heads, and... Uh, Look for new party members. Well, yeah, revive some party members. See you in five. <laughs> Don't move till I say it. Because I'm just like waiting for it. Huh? Or it's just a fight. Go. Oh my god, is Alex gonna die? Oh my god!